Good afternoon and welcome to Eagle Eye's Digital Connect 2018. My name is Al Henderson and I'll be your MC for the day. The news about the high street shows us that now, more than ever, it's so important to connect with your customers and create that digital connection. Um, I've spent literally the last three decades working with or for the world's largest technology companies. I started my career with Apple. I've just come out of 12 years at Microsoft. In all of that time working with big tech companies, the thing that I figured out is the most important thing about our future relationship with technology has got nothing to do with the technology. It is instead everything to do with the humans that use it. If you look deeper into our organizations, that world that we live in, the wonderful release that digital brings us has yet to permeate where we work. We still worship the God of productivity. And the problem with productivity is it's based on a definition of productivity that was forged in the fires of the Industrial Revolution 200 years ago. It's a cold economic equation that says output per unit of input equals productivity. It's a view of productivity that causes us to worship efficiency. Unless we fundamentally change how we think about how we use technology at work, unless we focus on the outcome of work rather than the process of work, we'll never work smart. We will only be able to work harder. And I think of it in terms of breaking through the digital barrier. Now the thing about data is we've always had data, but typically we've used it as a reflective thing. We've run our campaigns or our projects and at the end of the campaign or the project we gather all the data and we use it to reflect on what has happened. This data explains why this happened. Your ability to use data as a strategic asset to help you look forward, not reflect backwards, is the very hallmark that will ensure your success in the 21st century. But the real gift of data is yet to come. This is where we start to use that data, not to reflect on what has happened, but to accurately predict the future. Now what's making this possible is a technology that I believe is the most important technology that anybody on the planet is working on today and it's a technology that's actually called machine learning but you're familiar with its other name which is artificial intelligence. What I really need is something that can ask the right questions. And ladies and gentlemen, guess what? It's you. That's your bloody job. Your job is to figure out what is the question that we're actually trying to answer here for the company, for the client, for the team, for ourselves as individuals. Because if you know what that question is, if you can be crisp and clear on what that question is, we all know the technology is going to make short work of the results. The top 10 retailers uh, in, in the world, Alibaba, Amazon and JD are all digital businesses. The world is changing at an unbelievable rate. The next thing they're saying after promotions is that they like to be recognized. Um, and uh, they've talked about this thing about, you know, recognizing me as being an issue and the relevancy and, and it being a key influencer of choice. And, and clearly you can only recognize them if you know who they are and if you know something about them. And actually, in order to recognize them, increasingly you need to know more and more about them so you can recognize them in a more and more granular manner. I think the way we should think about utility is about timing. My view is that in the way that Near has transformed Google search, you know, I'm sure you've seen this and, and, and if you look at it, the statistics for how Near Me Searching has driven search into Google, um, I, I think now is Near for marketing. Two million app users in that lot there, who deliver, on average, between 33 and 58 percent average monthly redemptions. Now that is absolutely staggering. Yeah, that basically says a million redemptions a month through these apps. You would have to make 30 million issuances to do that through conventional media. I think if you made this a central piece of your business, there is real gold in these here hills because the media is free. I've long held a belief um, that everything is about putting the customer first. The new currency, in my head, three or four years' time, is going to be identity, not money. Who is somebody? How do you track identity? How do you build data off identity? So identity is a currency. It's a new money in my head. The whole point is collect data. Everything that we do inside Eagle Eye now, and I'm a real bore about this, is data. The world has actually changed now. It is actually there. This is no longer Eagle Eye, the company that says the world will go digital, believe in it and all that stuff. It's happened. We did 403 million coupon redemptions in our last financial year. Thanks to Rackspace and Google for enabling us to get together in the bar to have drinks and canapes after here.